Pastor John Pyle says after he couldn't get a response from the food bank about the products he received, he then turned to social media. And that's where people started tagging me in his post, and now the food bank is responding. Pastor John Piles at Tabernacle of Praise Church has called it quits. He's cut ties with the Houston Food Bank because of the products he says he's been receiving every two weeks. I just don't think that this that this location has been on their priority list. Pyle says the produce he's received bi-monthly has been in horrible condition. He says the most recent truckload of fruits and vegetables had to be sent back. That's despite three to 400 people in the surrounding neighborhood relying on the church's food distribution program. Saturday, it just spiraled downhill. It was um, uh, rotten cauliflower, rotten cabbage. Um, in the section where we had oranges, there was rotten, to, rotten onions. We had no onions on the truck at all, but there were rotten onions on it. Half of the carafe of oranges was just rotten. There were maggots in some of the uh, in some of the foods that was there. Piles also points to the condition of the trucks the food arrived in. He says it was just downright nasty. Keep in mind, Piles says he pays the food bank for each load, and it's been an ongoing problem for months. This was produce that slipped by our inspection. This is something I'm very embarrassed by. This is not what we're supposed to do. Brian Green with the Houston Food Bank says while there are two inspections of food coming and going out, a worker filled out a survey saying the food was in good shape. There is now an investigation into that worker. In the meantime, Green says his agency expects some of the food to be bad, but not to the extent it was at Tabernacle of Praise. Our supply of produce, the reason why we get it is because it's somebody else's problem. So we regularly get produce that has some decay in it and we uh, tell all our, par our partners that if it has 20% or less bad, just throw it away. That's part of the nature of why we got it. As for Pastor Piles, he says this program will remain suspended until he can get assurances from the food bank that rotten food won't show up again. Now, Green at the Food Bank says once they address their internal issues, they will approach Pastor Piles about the future of their partnership. Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.